Okay, folks. Um, don't want to leave you hanging with this, uh, with where to get these controls. Uh, I think in my last video we had a, uh, we're talking about vet data validation. Now, how I get this uh, a calendar control and access, I well, went over here to uh, your design tab and then uh, get your active insert active X control, which is right up. Let's see if I can move this up. Yeah, right up here. I went ahead and selected that. The first item I got was uh, the calendar control 12.0. Okay, you may have an older version or not so old version. Okay, go ahead and add it, and uh, it's gonna take on the name, whatever name you. You can call it a certain name. Okay, right click on it, choose properties. Okay, you could name it something different than calendar. Okay, notice that if you uh, double click on it. You're gonna get the uh, the properties if you, if you double click on the control itself. You, it's gonna it's gonna load a bunch of a bunch of stuff, but you hidden things that you uh, you don't want to use. Best bet it right click on it, choose properties, and then you can set the code for this. Uh, notice that the click event is not in my list here. Okay, now if I go over here, I notice that I'm using the click event. Uh, if you go up here to the, uh, see all the objects in your, in the general declarations area, you see all of your objects on that particular form, I chose calendar. Here is where I can select all the events applied. So if you if you say hey I can't see that I don't know where you got it from well this is where I got it from this click event is right here I have after I've done, I have a lot of events that are not available to me if I just right click on it okay now another another thing I might add is that each of these boxes right here uh, if you want to be able to select multiple check boxes. Okay, don't put them inside of an object frame. Now, what, what I'm going to do with this, let's see, I have this frame right here. If I go up here to select an option button, okay, I can select an option button right here and right here. And notice that the, I'm looking for the value property. Okay, the value property is under data. And the, the value of that. I'm gonna have to do a default default value, or I'm gonna have to control source. It's not real. It's not real user friendly. I like this one as well. I'm trying to figure out the value. Well, when option button, you can only make one selection. So, put your option buttons inside of a a frame like this. This is not. These are not bound to a particular frame. Now, if I select option button, and notice how the frame turns black. Okay, now it's bound to the frame. Now it's going to get a default value of, it's going to get a particular option value of three because it identifies that there are another, there's an option value one and two in there. And so now you have, you're going to get automatically three. And so that's why and I'm programming, I'm saying if the frame, the frame's value is one, then just show me red. <clears throat> If the frame value is two, show me yellow, and if the frame value is this, show me this. Okay, whatever value I make it, I'll break it and put it put it down here, and then I have this select button. So that's activated when I click the click event of this event procedure, and these I can uh, select their values. Uh, here I set the control source. Like I said, the control source to the customers, the customers tables. Yes, so I get a list of my customers. Uh, this one, I get a list of my products. Okay, it's a query. All right, I hope you enjoy that, folks. Um, for this and other tutorials, oh wow, <laughs> for this, sorry, and for this and for other tutorials. 
coming out to vbahowto.com okay is your VBA resource we have a step-by-step -step tutorial access access VBA uh, you can also get Excel VBA your VBA training.com be sure to rate or comment on this video if you can and be sure to subscribe to my channel thanks thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more great videos thanks bye